So we can give him a little more light. And we're going to set up the stage. So just give us a few minutes. Hi, I'm Amarani, and I'm representing my classmates from Marlita Kelsey, and we're here to bring you a poem that we all did. Collaboration Poem Board by the ladies of Marlita Kelsey. Board. Butterflies going up and down. Mixed feelings. Music flowing. Happy songs, waves, wings, dark sunsets, joy, holiday songs, mixed emotions, food, friendly, excitement never ending, belly dancing, blooming flowers, bored. Snapping my fingers, dancing, remembering those crazy, crazy days. Do not not the mountain high enough. Sad, white, crust, as insubstantial as air, spider like, bitter. Switch for sight, looking up at the night sky, swallowed up by the light of the moon, with the scent of the blooming flowers, caressing me like a flower bud. Luna. Why do you simply look down at me without a sound? Not a word you say. Yeah, yeah, I feel as though I know you for so long. As if every night you sing me a memory. Beautiful. As if the light that chases away like a shadow. Were a message to me that day. When I was three, my parents separate. It was hard to understand. Parents have so many problems. I remember when my sister called us and said my dad had passed away. All memories came back. I saw him when he didn't want to go to jail. I went to Guatemala, but I always had my mother's support. The days passed. When I needed help, I asked my father in my heart always. I know he is with God like an angel. Viviana means life in Spanish. Violet circle. So fluffy like corn. Fresh like the ocean. Sweet like chocolate. The woods around. She lives in LA. Sounds like a sea of violence. Music flowing. Dancing, stopping one foot, orange, bus horn, Mexican sign, life is too easy. So people make it hard. For some reason it reminds me of metal. I walk along childhood. I don't care to make important. I saw, I saw family as a group. Tying down the things that I could do but don't. Many times like that. I should tell myself down to the world. I realized it was so hard because I wanted to keep myself in the clouds. July 9th, she was, she was in the play. She took a pregnancy and was waiting. They called her. She looked at her mom and her cousin. She went in the room. They told her it was positive. Her mom sat down and looked at the floor. They took her ultrasound. Her mom felt sad. She was seven weeks pregnant. She felt awkward in the car because her mother was crying. She felt disappointed. It made her think a lot. Now that I'm facing a Barbie I am doing <laughs> Happy that I'm having a beautiful baby boy. I want to finish high school. Get my diploma and start college. So I can start my career. I always wanted to be a model. It's going to take a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm very bad to death that I have people helping me to continue. I am so happy that I'm having my own little family. You see and hear the sound of fire. 
because it's numerous. From the middle to the end. And from the beginning, it's man. It means mana. It smells like smoothie, like green smoke. That means something is on fire in the chocolate. She was born at home, born in Nevada, but the... Al nacer, un bebé quiere sentir calor de madre. My mom could care less. It's a stretch. Death would be always at my side. Laughing and patiently waiting. Bella Senora, a woman with no connection to me. Sees her tears on my cheek and lifts me up. Raises me with the love I long for. At 13, I have no memory of my mother or brother. Now life has illuminated my arms with a mother's love. For my own beautiful child. With tender love, always and forever. Calor de madre, a mother's love. Julissa Avila was born in California. At one day old, I knew I was loved by my parents. At four years old, I was a spoiled girl getting everything she wanted. When I was 10, I was under an understanding adulthood. Then my father had to leave us for family problems. At 12, I knew my parents were getting divorced. I was devastated to think I would never see them again together as a happy family. At 13, I found a boy who got my attention. We began to go out. When I was 14, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. I thought I was going to lose her. Why me, God? She was the only one I have. When I was turning 15, a big year for every young girl, my mother tried to survive and still made me a party. Six months later, my mother, the fighter, beat cancer. I thought life was good. My mother had health, and I was still with that same boy from two years ago. I thought I was in love. At 16, I was pregnant and gave birth to my son, Matthew. My boyfriend and I moved in together. When I was 17, my age right now, life hit me hard again. My boyfriend, who I see as my husband, was diagnosed with cancer. In my mind, I was asking, why again? Another loved one. A few days later, I found out I was pregnant again. I don't know how this is going to end. My husband might lose his leg, but he won't lose me. He won't lose his children. We will stay together. Our love gives us the strength to go on.